The Volusia County 10-year-old will stay locked up for beating a homeless man. Hello, I'm Barbara West. I'm Vanessa Eccles. One of the 10-year-old boys who beat a Daytona Beach homeless man is going to stay locked up for a long time. In just the last hour, a judge sentenced the boy to time in a secure treatment facility. Channel 9's Jason Allen was in the courtroom and has details on why the judge decided the boy needs help. For the first time in this case today, we saw real emotion out of this boy. We heard a real apology. He even told the court he wanted to go home from the courthouse here today with his mom. But he is not going to go home, potentially not for a long, long time. The boy has been in juvenile detention since late March. That is when he and two other boys severely injured John D'Amico, a local homeless man. They threw rocks and a brick at D'Amico that's left him blind in one eye. The 10-year-old Daytona Beach boy even buried his head in his mother's arms at one point today as the judge and attorneys discussed doctors' reports about his health. They said he shows a lot of aggressive tendencies and threatens to hurt not just others, but even hurt himself. Now, the judge said he believes the boy does have a bright future, but they, he also said he needs serious treatment. The victim, however, did not believe the boy's apology for what he did. I'm hearing the words, but I don't really sincere, uh, hear sincerely. The kid's a little good actor. You know, all the, all the tissues and stuff like that. You're really you're a pretty good little actor. There is no time limit on how long the boy can stay locked up in that treatment facility. He's going to stay in there until they decide he's ready to come out. The other 10-year-old boy in this case, he still has to be sentenced for his part. That's going to happen here next month. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Jason Allen, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.